Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this video tutorial, we'll be taking a look at a photo simulation that we're going to use for a view study on a cell tower. In this drawing, I have a few elements that I'm using as construction. I've got some existing buildings that I'm going to try to match up to. I've got an existing road lines at elevation that I'm going to use as a match. And I also have a camera location and my target location, the two points I'm going to be standing at and then looking at. Also in this 3D model, I have the monopole cell tower and the equipment house. And I took these off of 3D warehouse of Google. And the way you can get to that is go to the utilities pull down, 3D warehouse open. And that'll open up the browser. All I did was type in monopole cell tower and then search for that. And then these models can be downloaded and then converted to a MicroStation design file or just used as SketchUp models as well. So this is the model that I downloaded to create um, this photo sim. So now once I have it in MicroStation, then what I'm going to do is get back to a top rotation here and those are the elements that I'll be rendering in my photo sim. Turn the reference file back on so I can get some better orientation. And then the photo that I'm going to be using this design file, I'm going to take a look at that and I'll show you what we're looking at. This is the photo that I'm going to be using to try to do a photo match to. Again, in the background you can see the existing buildings. And then this is the approximate site location. And then the road edge is there as well. So what the work I'm going to be doing with this photo sim is going to be in view 2. So I need to set up view 2 to get a uh, correct aspect ratio and background for it. So what I'm going to do is set up my background view settings. So I'm going to use view 2 here from the design file settings and I'm going to choose that photo existing JPEG file to use as a background image in view 2. Toggle that on so to use the image as a background. And now you can see that photo is now the background of view 2. Now, the photo itself has a specific aspect ratio, and we need to match that in MicroStation. So I'll go to the Photos Properties and take a look at the uh, Summary tab here. I can see the width is 2048 by 1536, and I need to match that aspect ratio in my MicroStation view. So to do that, I'm going to go to my Visualization Tasks, and then there's an icon for View Size. I select the view, and then I type in those numbers, 2048 by 1536. When I tab out of that, it's going to tell me what aspect ratio I'm working with. So it's 1024 by 768. As you can see, it's too big to fit inside of here. So what I can do is resize it proportionally and maybe just do 600 by 450. And now I've got a much more manageable size to work with. But the aspect ratio is still good. work myself around here so I got multiple views open. Now the next thing I'm going to do is set up my camera. And the camera setup is that red line running off at a diagonal. And there's different lenses that we can use. I'm going to be standing uh, 5 feet off the ground and the target height I think I'm about 25 feet up in the air is where I'm looking. So I'm going to use those numbers and then use this red line to help me define and snap into those points. So there's my camera location and then my target location. And then you can see in view 2, the photo match is already taken effect and I've got the camera looking at that uh, cell tower. You can see it's floating a little bit too high in the air. So what I can do now is modify or define the camera. I'm going to set it to a two-point projection. I'm going to turn off continuous updates so I have better control. And for better control yet, I'm going to set my increment to 1 and 1. So when I click in the screen in the view, it'll have better control. So what I want to do here is use my eye as my reference point and then move the elements to the correct position. So I'm here tilting it down and then I can tilt it to the right and rotate it to the left. And then if I need better control, I can uh, go to a quarter for each one of these and then just adjust it a little bit more. Then once I have that, you can see here the buildings are a pretty good match. The road lines are a pretty good match. So I'm just about ready to render. 
And again, you can see in view one here what the uh, cone looks like, the view cone looks like. Um, so I can recreate this in the future. I want to create a saved view. So I'm just going to call this photo sim saved view and select my view so it's saved. Then if I ever need to recreate this or um, come back to this at a later time, I can just recall the saved view. Now I'm ready for the uh, rendering, so I'm going to turn off the uh, reference file. And then I'm going to turn off my construction lines, the uh, camera level I have there. So those are just the two elements I'm going to render. As far as the render setup goes, I'm just going to hit a couple things quick here. I've got my uh, light manager. I just created a, a light manager called uh, Daylight. So it's got um, just some solar light, some ambient light defined in the design file. As far as the environment settings go, I'm using physical sky, but I'm also enabling the background, the same background image I chose in the uh, view two. As far as the material settings go, I went through and already defined um, what I wanted the materials to look like as far as um, brick and um, uh, metal. And then the rendering settings, I'm just going to use exterior better as my option here for this rendering method. Once everything's set up, I've got view 2 as the active view. The aspect ratio is good, and I'm going to begin the Lexology render. Once it's done, you'll be able to see that the 3D model is actually merged now in the photograph. And then from here, you can actually save this out as a PNG file or JPEG file or TIFF file to use uh, in whatever you need. This concludes the uh, workflow for setting up a quick photo sim or view study in MicroStation. For more tips, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.